I'm sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Start the race is how you finish it. We are now on our way to where is the love in the studio, and you have time to think about how you are going to answer those questions. So, part two. ourselves to you and you the fans just show you some love on where we come from and what music means to us right so today we're going to answer a few questions that we think you all may have in your mind so the first thing that comes to mind is people will want to know Asia how long have we been working together we've been working together for over a year and a half yeah that's about right, right. that's yeah. about right okay and um, you debuted on about what six to seven of my songs that's my right. tracks Along with Rich Boy Troy. That's right. Shout out to our super producer. Oh wow, that guy is amazing. Yeah. You know, we can actually sit here. We can talk about ourselves and say something to the fans, but we would just like right. to know that behind every great artist is a great, great producer, producer. You yeah. know, and a great mentor to right. help guide you. 
to that, that path. And, yeah. and he's, he's very humble too, so he really, when you see him on camera, you better just enjoy it for the moment because he's just always grinding, working, always pushing us, the artists, to get over the edge. Right, to get <laughs> Literally. the best. No, just pull the best out of it. Welcome to another episode of The Love in the Studio. We are here, live 215, in the building with Josh Entertaining, Mr. Troy W. Dot Goldsmith. How did the people? Um, we are here again, as you can see, this is our headquarters of the Love in the Studio. We will be traveling to different studios around and, you know, letting people know where the Love is. But the original, the home, is the Josh Entertainment. So, you don't want to miss this. We want you guys to tune in and we'll be right back after these messages. Because when I come. After these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> Mr. 
www.goldsmithings. Troy W. Goldsmith. Tell us about you as an individual. Where did you grow up at? How was your life as a kid? Well, that's a kind of a touchy situation where did I grow up at, but from the bottom of 46 and Brown. Okay. At the age of seven, um, moved up to Vincent High School. Okay. Here in Vincent, here in uh, Bucks County. Bucks County, yeah. okay. Vincent and Bucks County. Uh, at the Fouse Middle School, Neil Armstrong. Been some high school. Okay. It's always in the band. Okay, so let me stop you there. Bing. Mm -hmm. Talk about your musical talents. Like, what kind of musical I can see? You have a piano here, electrical guitar, all types of things going on. Tell us what kind of blessed talents you were. Tell us about the talents that you were blessed with. Like, where did all of this energy come from? Well, I was blessed with a gift that I didn't know I had. Okay. Um, the gift that I had was a gift of recording stuff into my head and remembering different sounds and different notes and different keys and different voices and different So you have sticks. like that photogenic memory? Yeah. Okay. I love that memory. Great. Yeah. Talk about it. Well, I can remember stuff from when I was little. To, to men. Wow. Um, Give us an example. Like my mom going out the window. <laughs> what? <laughs> get, your buddy, get your buddy. Get your buddy. Nah, it was like, Yo, Troy! <laughs> oh, no. Get in here! <laughs> oh, my um, God. Her voice was just like, I'd be around the corner. Oh, two, wow. Like, block somewhere and she just, Oh. Shh. Wow. You know how you get amped up and kill your mom's voice? Like, oh, no. Yeah. Out of trouble. So you are definitely in love of a mother, a, I wouldn't want to say mama's boy, but I would say mama's boy. I think oh, yeah, I'm a mama's boy. Yeah, and what a, what a boy. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. Yeah, that's it's a family Because show. if you don't love your mom, you don't love nobody. That's you don't love yourself. Yeah, point blank. Because that's where you came from. That's the beginning of life right exactly. there. So it's like... Appreciate your mother. Yeah, you got to. Mm -hmm. You definitely got to. That's right. But uh, yeah, been some high school. Um, well, let's go back to, to Armstrong. I was always in the music arena in the auditoriums. Um, any kind of show thing was going on, I had something to do with it. Um, then I got into audio video and all that other stuff. Like audio TV. video, tell us about that. Audio video, photography, script writing, all the way ninth grade in high school. Okay, wait, 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 stop. For those that are watching, I know you are like, wow, 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 you see you left, right, left, like a Tyson, no, Tyson fight is at one, a left, and maybe, it may be a right, this may be a left, but who got hit a lot? Who had a fight? I mean, just, got hit a lot? Just couldn't duck him you know? Oh, he got hit by George Foreman, 19. <laughs>
Johns Entertainment is an entity that was created back in 1991, which was actually Jackson Spade, JOS Productions, which involved two members, Ron Evans and myself, Troy W. Davis, um, broke down and did many different kinds of remixes, production for different artists. Um, and now we evolved into a label slash production company and we do everything. Okay, everything. And um, when you say everything, that is what, from pop to rock to R&B to pop? Everything from pop Literally. to rock to R&B to jazz, yeah. 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 salsa, yeah. So 360. country, country. country. It don't yeah. matter. Okay. If it's music, we do it. We yeah. feel it. The uh, rock. The Rocks. Okay, La Rocks Darnell. That's nice. And, and my name is Don Lavante. Don Lavante. I mean, because you know they're going to get confused with the La Rocks and the La So okay. they're just so different, unique names. And they, cause that's why the group is what? You need. Oh, yeah. That's why the group is what? You need. Okay, so tell us about you need. Oh yeah, them. you better ship them because they know it's not but in cabinets. Prisons become monks. That's right, Holler. that's right. Holler, holler, that's the love right there. Pay, pay attention, pay attention. Pay attention. Who you think? Uh, the love in the studio. Today we are in the building again with JOS. Shouts out to Troy W. Dot. <laughs> and we do have a special, special guest in the building, H Dub, better known as Housewife. Hey. Housewife is in the building. Talk to me, Housewife. Tell us about who Housewife is. Well, you know, before I do that, I just want to say thank y'all for having me here. You know what I'm no saying? Problem. Um our first time meeting. Yes. Good, to meet you. yes. Good spirit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so there's plenty of love in the studio. Love in the building. In the building. Can I high five? Uh, high five, okay. friend. So who we said, who was the question, who they dubbed? Tell us about who Housewife is. Just give us who you are. Before the rap, just who is Housewife? Before the rap? Yes. Everybody eats the same way, female wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? I am an anti Nicki Minaj. Chilling in the crib, putting on my red lipstick. No, I'm not fake. My jewelry is so real. Knocking out girls like a man doing holy field. <laughs> so you can tell I was a seven. Oh, hell no. Seven. I wrote one about my family. Like, I was, I had different techniques then. I was, but so I was seven. So I can tell y'all, I, I don't even care. I'm, I am in my 20s. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But at That's the end of the day, I've been in this joint for about 20 plus years. That's right. From a baby to now. So music is just really in me. Now a lot of people say, well, why you ain't on? You well, are on though. You said that. Well, you know, let's say limelight on. You know what I mean? I'm not at the BET Awards or something like that. Y'all need to give me a check for saying BET twice. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You had it out Yeah, damn it. <laughs> but, but I did no matter of fact, shout out to BET because I was on one of the things part freestyle right Okay. Now. So shout out to BET, I'm sorry. Let's edit that other part. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry but about shout out to that. But so a lot of people say, well, why you ain't do this? You was with Charlie Mack. He was your manager. Look what he did oh, to meet Charlie? them. Yeah. I know Charlie Mack too. I know him for many, many, many years. Mr. Mack. Mr. Okay. Mack. He tried to grab me right after he, uh, him and Jay fell out okay. or whatever. And he was trying to grab me. And, you know, a lot of different things happened with that. I love Mr. Mack. I have so much respect for him. He did a Shout lot for being Charlie my family. Mack in the building. You know what I mean? Two more five for the eight. Hey Jada, I just want this I just did not get off the thing, but I want to show some love to Miss Jada Smith that has that show that just dropped. Oh, She's the director. That's what I'm talking about. When you do it like that, that's when that's you know you took it family. to a whole the little karate kid saying? boy. Like, I mean, it's just going. PA is in the building. Like, is this the is building. how big we do it. I spoke to him on the phone. This is when uh, Will Smith was doing our robot. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. And Charlie was there. Charlie's like, "Wow, well, be 
Jackson was telling me we gonna go so well we was just talking business. Okay. And he was like, Yeah, Will in the trailer. I'm like, well let me speak to him. Let me pull you over. Let me see what you gonna do. That's right. He said, Hold on, hey, Will. And he got on the phone like, hey, I was like, Wow, I'm talking to Fresh Prince. Like it was crazy to me. So a lot of people like they front on Will, but you know what? Oh, at the no. end of the day, he's still he's Philly. Chief, and he's that's he's right. still thorough. And he's a businessman. He yeah, had this business, he did it better than any of the But he down artists. earth. Exactly. A lot of people don't know that man is so down to earth. Yes, he, he told me he loved my music. Miss, J Miss Will Smith said the same yeah. thing. Jada, she said the same thing. That's she right. was like, you're a little rough, but that's all right. Ah. You, so you can ah. imagine her face being like, set it off. That's right. With sugar bear. When she yeah. said that, like, I yeah, imagine that. that. Yeah, so, I, that so I mean, good people. Shout out to Charlie Mack. But yeah, other than that. Smith, Will Smith, the whole Smith family over with the Jackson. Smith Stoney in the Philadelphia. You know? But... <laughs> Anyway, um, so they, a lot of people say, well, I ain't on or whatever, but it's just, it's certain things. I think God has a timing for everybody and everything. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? There's so many times I should have been here, but I believe in faith. I That's have a strong right. faith in God. That's right. I'm a, I'm a Christian yeah. woman. That's right. Regardless of the things I do, you know, God don't judge me for that. Who are you? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I Tell us about your audio, your photography, your filming. Audio and photography. Audio, any any kind of audio always had a, another presence to it. Okay. So if you had audio, you had video. Okay. If you had audio, you had photography because you had the ambience and the sound that makes you want to take that picture. Okay. Say that's a long range picture or a deep frame picture or you just want to take that picture. So anything dealing with a sound it involved me in because I, I, I needed to be there. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Goldsmith, that is a very quite interesting name for a young man like yourself. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your background, family history. Like, where did you come from? What is your background? Did you come from a musical family? Or tell us about that. Well, we got both Go sides right. of my family. We got you got the Goldsmith side, you got the Summer side. Okay. The Summer side is Donna, Donna Summers. Donna Summers. The okay. Goldsmith side is, is, is Jerry Goldsmith. Okay. And Jerry Jr. Goldsmith. Wow. And, um, wow. There's another side, it's the Robinson side, which is actually a, a great uncle on that side. Okay. My, my uncle's uncle's first cousin is Smokey Robinson. That's what that's Smokey like. Ro oh, the Robinson. So okay. That's my cousin Ray's wow. side right there. Okay. So, um, the, the, the side right now, the hip hop side is Tyree. Tyree, he's actually if I'm on the Goldsmith okay. side of Summit, he's on the Goldsmith side. Okay. Like Goldsmith side. side. But yeah, we all cousins. Okay. Um, Tyree from the Roots. From the Roots. Okay, yeah. we got that thing. Um, Shout see. out to the Roots, Tyree, your cousin. You got nothing. Yeah, else. fam, hit me up and, and, and not on my space. <laughs> 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 uh, so. My family is always involved in into music. My mom was a, a dancer. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. That's my sister ballet. Wow. Because of my mom. Okay. Um, so my mom would travel around and do dance. Yeah, she was wow. dancing. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's oh, where I got that's a lot of my you're dancing. So. Okay, wait a minute. We didn't even get to his dancing yet. Um, we're definitely going to get him in there. Um, you have to just tune in and watch the show because we'll be seeing a lot of what's going on here and the love in the studio, but you're dancing. Um, we watched something earlier on you doing some interesting moves in like a shadow of light. I thought that was interesting. Um, what inspires you to dance? Sound. It gotta be the right track. It gotta be the right artist. It gotta be the right chemistry. Okay. And the mood comes from the sound. Okay, so it's like just like something that's with you. Yeah, it's, like just it's all that, you. all at once. Okay. Yeah, the majority of my surroundings are dancers. Oh wow! So you find a lot of us just doing a lot of dance. See, I'm the only too cool person to dance, but I will dance like like a one, two, three step, you know, to the bank, cash a check. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> A little wow. fun <laughs> laugh in the early late night hours.
merge. What you got for us, merge? Look at merge. You talking about a cartoonist? Like this is a cartoonist. He's about to be a bit a trillion millionaires. Oh, what's that about? What's that? The high priestess. The high priestess. I do these right out of my mind. Whatever comes to my mind, I put it down. Wow. Wow. This is why you see a lot of perversions of the average cartoons. <laughs> That's right. Kill them characters. Them characters ain't gonna pay the bill. So that's where where can we contact you, Merge? Right now I'm on um Let's Brotherly Love. Love. Brotherly Love. Emerge presents Dobby Park. No love in the studio. How you doing? Like ASAP. That's my name, Asia Jenkins. I am the descendant of Geronimo, my great, 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 great grandfather is John. Sister, do you see this sister? Was anybody call the law on this sister? It's all straight. Ira, we've heard your name before. Tell us about who you are. Just like go briefly. I'm Ira, the international entertainer. The international entertainer. You make it happen. Tell us about what you make happen. I make the slow songs happen. I make the shorties happen. The shorties. Yeah, the Wait a minute. Let's back yeah, up. Man. So we yeah. said the love in the city. Uh, yeah. So you 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 you, you give the love <laughs> to the shorties. <laughs> Your biggest fans. Yeah, because you know women are the biggest fans, and women are the only people that really spend money on music. I get my name and my game from them. From them. From them. Okay. So you make the music for the ladies. And Troy, Mr. W. Dot Davis. Yes. Mr. W. Dot, the Josh. Stingman. Josh. Josh. J O S Entertainment. Himself. Okay. So, 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 tell us about the the next single we have from you and Josh Entertainment. What well, should we be looking it's for? It's all in the making. It's all in the making right now. It's all in the making. So y'all are in the middle of making what's going on. Right. Digital foreplay is gonna be the one. Digital. That's digital. the name of the song? Digital foreplay. I like that. Digital That's foreplay. what you talking about. That's what we talking about. Digital we foreplay. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna get along popping and get this paper. And we're all gonna live what? Happily ever after? Happily ever after? <laughs> I know that. I know that. You can rest assured Josh Entertainment will make their presence felt. Oh, it's already felt, brother. Yes. Like you just speak it. It's God is first and that's what we talk That's right, about. Yeah. Because if God is not in control, if God is not first, then you, you lost. He's the only person that makes things happen. Okay. So we, we, we will be looking forward to hearing your first, your next single. We know you, come on, brother, you all up. Excuse me. I, I, I guess I still had him. I was over top of him. Wait, I could never, ever get him to do another picture. Well, we got a lot of them today. So. That's next, Wayne without the D. That's what you said, right? Yes, yeah, so the next time somebody sees me, they're going to be like, oh, you know what, get his brother some cashews. Cashews? <laughs> oh, you want cashews? We'll bring you cashews next time, good brother. Cash good brother. Ira? Why are you hearing anything? Yeah, let him hear something. <laughs> w dot, where is that? Oh, she got you on camera? She got you on there? Yeah, he's on camera. I'm about to drop it right <laughs> now and edit it. <laughs> because we, we are introducing everyone, reintroducing people to the world. And the things that are going down this year are things that people could never imagine, unexpected, and the things that you should know God has prepared you for. So you have to prepare yourself, get your mind, your body, your spirit right, your direction, and stay focused on what God has blessed you with because your talent is a blessing. And your blessing can be taken away from you if you do not appreciate what God has gave you. Yes, yes, yes. All right? So you take what God gave you and you use it to the fullest. Don't take it for granted because, believe me, success waits for no one. It only goes to the next person that's available to do the job. And, Tom, you can put me on camera now. <laughs> Tom, it's money. <laughs> and right. money is it's time. time. It's right. All right. But at the end of the day, Money is the root to all evil. God is first. So we can talk about time. There is no time when it comes to God. It's an eternity situation. You have a purpose. You have a meaning. And you must do your mission and complete the job that you were here sent to do. Stay focused, brother, and understand that God is first. And he got your back.
You just gotta really be focused and just be humble and just be disciplined because I know I am. I don't talk about it, I just do it. Just just understand that God has your back and he knows who you are. You do what you gotta do, brother. Don't let nobody steal your shine. Where's the love in your city? And right now what we're doing is where is the love in the city of brotherly love? And right now we, we, we're loving your hair. And I know for you to have this type of haircut, it has to be some other things that are very interesting. I mean the love is definitely at Red House Park. I think the love is I think the love is everywhere you are. Okay. And if it's not, then maybe you need to analyze your actions and interactions. Okay, I like that. Five, six. Action. So, Mr. Saranj, tell us about your background. Well, uh, I've been drumming and being a musician basically all my life. Uh, come from the uh, family of musicians. Okay. Um, first started in uh, a church, um, a Jamaican church, where we were Jamaican, uh, out in uh, West Philadelphia, around the Park Ave. And that's where I got my, um, my inspiration. And then, What's the name of that church? Uh, New Testament of God. New Testament of God? New Testament of God. I like that. Okay. And, um, you know, ever since um, being a, uh, a child, I've been influenced by my father. He's uh, singing, playing guitar. Also, there's, uh, there's another uh, musician there. Um, the world, you probably know him, James Poyser. Um, James Poyser. Very influential um, in, uh, you know, my music career. Okay. And um, ever since then, you know, I've moved forward and, uh, Went into marching music, uh, rhythm and drumming. Um, I was also uh, ranked uh, 12th in the world. In 12th in the world? Wait a minute, let's stop the press. 12th in the world ranked for what? Uh, it was a competition um, in an organization called DCI, it's international. So DCI. pretty much it's like the, the, the professional marching music league. It's like the NBA or the NFL okay. of music. And, okay. and, um, you know, obviously uh, a snare with my little drummer and I was ranked 12th in the world in 1999. Wow. Yeah. That's high. Yeah. Okay. I was very happy. It was a lot of hard work. But then, you know, I went on after I was finished. Um, we have had a beautiful interview with Mr. Saraj. Derek Saraj. Derek Saraj and Crescendo Music. We will see you soon. Yes, All right. Mm -hmm. One up. interest into the things I do because of the sounds and techniques that I use. A brother like to read, a brother like to study, and I just do what I do. But that brother definitely reads and studies. Like the music is, it, it blows me away. It's awesome. I might hear the greatest. Yeah. We'll see him with one of the greatest. Talk to us. I don't, I don't call myself the greatest. I call you the greatest. I thank you, but I'm still in growth. Yeah, still in the room. Um, I always make myself work harder because once a person starts to slack up, they just fall back and next thing you got this other cat coming out with something that's yeah, hot and like, like I, don't, I don't like that. So mm -hmm. I want to work always harder than the day I worked before. So I just got to, I got to grind. I got to keep grinding. I got to keep thinking. Like when I'm not in the studio, I'm, I'm writing songs in my head. Everything is is in place when I come in the studio. I'm like one of those cats you take to the record store, the music store, the keyboard store, and you have different artists and producers in there. And I'm doing three, four songs at one time, writing the, the note, notation and the lyrics in my head while I play, 
Lottie just struggling on a couple of keys. And, hey, it, it's, 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 it's crazy because there's a lot, of, a lot of disappointment in a lot of artists because they don't study their craft. And this is what I'm here to shut the game down. So tell us how you shut the game down. I shut the game down by studying the top producer's style, learning it, mastering it, and then putting my twist to it. So once you learn another style, like if it's Kung Fu, you take Kung Fu and you, you, you mix it up with Wing Chun or, or Drunken Monkey or something like that, and you're coming up with this awesome style that just breaks a person down because they don't know where to go with Is that a style of fighting? That's a, that's, yeah, that's a style of fighting. Okay, is that martial arts? That's martial arts. Okay. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Okay. So if you use the same techniques and the, the same strides of life into the music, you are able to overcome a lot of different things, a lot of different producers. Mm -hmm. The techniques that they use is so pathetic, pathetically weak. Pathetically weak. Pathetically weak. I like the way you said that, pathetically weak. Even down to the engineering wow. skills. It's not only weak, but it's No, it's pathetically weak. weak. Yeah. Okay. They, they grab an MP. Mind you, MPs, MPC 60s back in the day, they were good for sampling, mm -hmm. looping, 12-bit uh, linear sound, oh, that's excellent. But there's 300,000 rotations that that instrument can record. So you can record so many different things in that one thing by taking a street producer and making them do their work to it. It, it come out good, but when you take a person that understands the theory behind the MP, the theory behind the 3000, the theory behind any kind of equipment like that, and then just the theory of understanding what you're trying to do and understanding what that guy's trying to do over there, you can come up with better music. You can come up with a theory of understanding of this is how it should be. When it comes to a, a mix, then you understand, like if you hear a club mix, you hear a kick, a snare, you hear the, the, the tendency of the delivery of the kick and snare mm. in the mix when you're in a club. Okay. So if you know it sound like that on the radio, you know it sound like that in the club, why not make a, a, a song and make it sound like that, to, to make it sound like it came from MCA or RCA? or That's the, that's the whole thing. It, it's, it's not bad using an 80 snare in a 2010 world, but you got to know how to put the click to it and the pop to it, and it comes out excellent. If it don't come out excellent, it's going to be flat. Flat music don't sell. Flat music don't even have a heartbeat. Now, is that coming from an engineer side or producer side? That's coming from a producer side and, and an engineer, engineer side. Okay, I just want the people to know so, you know, they are informed, well informed on what it is that you do. Yeah, well, pretty much what, what I do is I compose, I write, you I compose, mix. Compose, you write, you mix. Mm -hmm. And you sing, I, I sing, I dance, rap, I distribute. You I market. You music, you market. Yeah, I, I make everything you possible for one, one artist to go to the next, next level. That's, that's what I want. I'm that. You make it possible for people to go to the next level. Thank it's you. not just even the artist because you also offer jobs for people that, that has a talent and may not have a degree but they will be useful and they could be helpful. And at the same time, it's like we all work together. Like your, um, is that your PR? Oh. Um, yeah. Mrs. Boy? Yeah. yeah. You know, her story is really deep and touching. And you know, she said some beautiful things about you as well as the others. But her story was really deep. And I know a lot of people would relate to her story and and appreciate you having such a great heart and you know being a person that you are digging inside and seeing that this person has talent that i could do something with and i'll give them a chance and help them change their life and turn their world around yeah well if you give a man a million reasons to live mm -hmm. you're going to pick probably like 200 300 thousand of those reasons mm -hmm. and continue to live mm -hmm. fighting the temptation and the demons work inside <laughs> That's a little joke. But go ahead, good brother. Welcome back to another episode of 
the love, and the studio. We are here today, once again, filming live at JOS, Josh Entertainment, in the building. And we are filming in Mr. Terrence Hamilton. Thank you very much, Ms. AJ, for stopping by and uh, taking time to talk to you. Okay. Okay. The pleasure is mine. Um, let's start off with this interview by asking, tell the people who Mr. Terrence Hamilton is. What do you do? Well, you know what I do? I'm a singer, but I'm also a lover. And I also really enjoy just spending time and getting to talk to people and just collecting the experiences that I've had and you know, sort of making that kind of life and the music and the songs that I like and those experiences into real time actually capturing them. That's right. And that's what that's what Bye. 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 Exactly. So we would, me and my brother would sneak and turn the stereo on to the K-104 life. Yes. I concur. I can cook too. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's all good when you can understand a person and understand them just working with them. When they say they can do something, you always love them. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Somebody might say they can flow or rap or spit. And all right, well, here's your, your they highest might only seconds. do nothing but spit. Hawk spit. Yeah, okay. nothing comes about it. Okay. So, when the artists say they can sing, I let them sing and I tell them, well, all right, you sound all right. And I flee off. But the realest thing to remember is if somebody says they can do something and they sound good, nine out of ten, if I'm not working with you, one of the producers under me is going to be working with you. And happens like this. When I work with you, then I got people that's ready to move stuff. Uh, once a product is done out of here, it's, it's circulating, it's gonna be circulating, it is circulating. As soon as I hit that button, send an email, no matter where, from a radio station to a, a college area, or it, it don't matter. Um, I have a lot of things going on in many different areas as far as the music industry. So. Talk about it. Talk about it. Um, wow. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about. I don't even think we got enough time to talk about and explain <laughs> I the things that I... We'll have to have another show. <laughs> 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 Brother, this supposed to be a 10 minute. We going on an hour. <laughs> yeah, I, I can barely remember. But we like, can go every day and talk to Mr. W. Goldsmith because... Yeah, because you got to catch me in the moment while I'm doing it because it's so inspiratic mm -hmm. is that when it's needed, I'm doing it, and I'm not just halfway doing. I'm fully doing it. Okay. So it it, it could be an artist with a producer coming in here. The artist got a song. The producer says, "Well, I'm going to produce the song here." The artist got an idea. Mm -hmm. The artist taking forever to write the song. All right, so now I'm stepping in as the producer. Now. The producer. A producer okay. is not just a person that makes a beat. A beat maker is just a beat maker. That's a producer right. a is a guy maker. that is able to write compose, engineer, mm -hmm. and master. Wow. That's a producer. A producer mm -hmm. is in charge of an artist's budget. If so, that artist is signed to a record label. Okay. He dictates that we need three hundred thousand dollars for this this project right here because it's gonna contain can we get about a million. A million on a project? This don't even take that much because everything now is digital, so you're doing the whole project. Like I did Terrence's project. It would have ran me 70 grand. I did it under two, three grand. Wow. Yeah. Once once you, you, you have a, a I was talking about somebody can they give us a million. Oh, that got to be a big project. That got to be We Are The World project. Yeah, well, like that. We it's Are The like, World project. Yeah, but still, this, no, this digital. Still. Yeah, it is still. Because this digital world yeah. on a production deal kind of thing, you don't need that much money. Now, when you start okay. going into the, the marketing and promoting of it, Sure, you want to have you want to have it 500 and up, like yeah. from a gate. Yeah. But just to record something. Oh, okay. You talking about production? I'm sorry, I was just thinking. Yeah, it don't it don't take that much. Not not at all. Everything is broken up to different areas, though. Okay. So it, it really don't take that much money to, to pull this off. And having this digital world the way it is, we shut down a lot of a lot of studios. Um, a lot of record stores got xed out thanks to the internet. Um, yeah. It, it just works. A lot of record companies 
you know, had to merge together just to keep up with the independent world, you know. So it ain't like the old days, send them a, a deep uh, demo and they sit it on a desk and they throw it in the trash the week later. Nah, I'm just, I'm cool. Like, I'm, I'm so past that right there. I've been around everybody. It, it don't even matter who I've been around. Like, I don't even want to say, them, say the names because they probably ain't doing nothing right now. You know what I mean? From MCA down to Electric Records, it don't even matter. Like, like I'm making noise. Like I'm making noise on on a level where everybody know me, so it's it, it don't even it don't even matter anymore. Like a, a record company is just nothing. Like I, I J O S year, is in the building. Do not forget it. Yeah, never forget it. Never forget it. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, I gotta I gotta definitely thank all the all the other artists that support me and um, you know they just they they understand my drive. They understand what I see. Um, more so than a lot of a lot of people that's just hard hit and don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. Like everybody got to listen. You can't be a leader and not listen. That's you can't. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's everybody right. in once of their life was a follower, but it was the level of the person you was following. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you got to step down. Like if if Ray Charles was here, trust me, I'm his follower. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I can't over talk that man. Like. This man has did so many different things in his lifetime mm -hmm. that I have never seen. Mm -hmm. So you gotta fall back and understand that there's a time to learn and that there's there's a time to teach. And you know everybody wanna play head chief Indian, but yeah, well, they don't I have the edge. Huh? I am Indian. Of course. Can't you see? Geronimo. Geronimo. Come on, it's so obvious. Like. You know what I mean? Get that nickel, get that nickel. You know, look at that nickel and look at her, look at her cheekbones. Like, y'all gotta got represent. Like, for real. Like, yo, you know, a touching subject is these that think things is free. Yo, I don't do nothing for free. Nobody in the industry do nothing for free, and I wouldn't even begin to ask anybody. And if it is free, free, then it's a problem. Oh, it's a big problem because it's not gonna work. It's, it's definitely not gonna work. <laughs> it's stupid. If it don't make dollars, then it don't make, it don't make sense. sense. This, you know we I mean? got to pay rent. Big, yeah. big rent. These things got to, got to happen. Like, this is this is just one area where I'm, I'm, I'm picking up the pace at. So it, it's, it's tremendously crazy when you have somebody coming to you and saying, yo, can you, can you do this for me? Just pull out beats and pull out beats. Right. Excuse me. Sorry, I, I see your hard work. I see that you are so serious about what you do. You have no time to waste. Not as you have zero tolerance for both. Oh, there it is. Basically, yep. Yep. at the end of the day, I got to touch a key. Pay if I touch a key, you talking money. Yeah, that's right. You talking money from the gate. Anything that I got to touch is money. Money, straight, plain, Just touch up, me loose you money. money. But you money. You money. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So. I can't really get in depth to all the things. You gotta catch me on different videos and explain well, the techniques. Because he is the host of this show, also, so you know. I do that. <laughs> he knows now. I know his now. That's huh? what the director does. We just direct you. Two, three. What's happening, girl? This is Asia J. We are out here in Wishahickon Park, and we are getting our workout on. I'm bringing this to you because you have a lot of artists when they say hip hop. I watched the show the other day and one of the people were asked to, you know, um, do a mock of hip hop and, you know, their version of hip hop was, you know, like, we don't do nothing. We just like speak a bunch of simple mitness and it's not really that way. So what I'm showing you today is how we get prepared to do our show, our tour, our stage performances, and it is a workout. So we start off with, um, I guess, a few calisthenics and nature is good. That's why we chose this beautiful historical park that you're in right now. Um, you can follow us, see how we get it in, and I'll see you right after these messages. And we are back showing you the different personality to you in touch with yourself. How do you eat? How is your living? I see your food. My living is living off of things that I like to eat. 
that's a whole nother issue, a whole nother topic, a whole nother attitude, a whole nother person when it comes to food, the food chain, the FDA, and stuff like that. I try to keep this interview pleasant, but trust me. The next one, we, we do have a segment called, what was that segment called? I forget. Questions. Questions. Wow. Questions and answers. We have nothing but questions. We have a lot of answers too. I guess we can answer. No, that's, we do know this is a family show. So, anyway. This is Asia J, and you're listening to my new episode right on. Salutations across the nation. I'm today's host of Words Above the Studio. I'm Terrence Hamilton, and today I'll be interviewing the one and only Asian Asian from Lee. So, could you share with us just a little bit of how did you get started in the music? From a very early age, I always was musically inclined. Father writes music, he plays the guitar, he sings, and you know, he always had a lot of children, so he would, he would give us different instruments to play in the band. You know, I think he thought we was going to do like a Michael Jackson thing, <laughs> just okay. didn't work out. Um, yeah. But um, it started off in the really early age of my life, just because I couldn't remember people's songs, I would okay. just write my own. I'd be like, well, that's a good beat, and I like the song, but I like my words better. So, I would say from the age about five, six, seven. So you started off really early, and you you had this collection of songs that you would put together. Were you uh, involved in any uh, shows and or school? Yeah, activities all the time. I was on the choir. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. They could handle me on the choir. Yes, Lord. Wow. Were you I was soprano? in the church choir. Yeah, I was a soprano. I was in the church choir, and I was also in my school choir. Okay. And um, yes, I was a safety guard, still a safety guard now. I don't know what happened to that little job, but sorry. Um, I was always just singing, you know, okay. but I wasn't a singer because my music, I was like, I couldn't express myself. I'm like, I'm a little bit more madder than an R&B song. Like, I, I want to express myself in a okay. different way. So, you yeah. know, I wanted to combine singing with speaking, you know, poetically in an intelligent, you know, intellectual mm -hmm. way, but still saying what I need to say in the way that I wanted to say it. So you already mentioned that your influences uh, were gospel, music, mm -hmm. gospel, gospel, in the church. So were there any other uh, musical uh, genres that you uh, listened uh, to growing up as a youngster, any yeah. specific artists? That, uh, and we're going to take a 10 minute break, but we want to get back to this story because I tell you, this is going to be a very interesting. We'll be back after these messages. Okay. Did I mess up? Jaja ja Hollywood's with us. Oh yeah, we doing it with a hand camera. That's how we do it. Jaja ja Hollywood's hoods. However you want it to do, but we need a trillion dollars. And we're going to make it do what it do. See him on camera, you better just enjoy it for the moment because he's just always running and working, always pushing us, the artists, to get over the edge. Right, to get the best. So, another question. I didn't get a chance to answer my question. My bad. You tell us. I'm sorry. Jay's fan club. I would first like to start off thanking all of my fans for being a part of my movement and signing up. This page is to inform you guys on everything Asia J is doing, every place Asia J is playing, and all the things that are going on in Asia J's life. You can www.asiaj.net us. Asia J Facebook like us, like us or Asia J ENT 
follow us on Twitter. We have so many things that are going on. We have great offers. We have special gifts that we have for our special members. There are a lot of things that are going on in Asia J's world. Please be a friend, be a fan. Don't forget to join. Sign up. We have a newsletter coming out every Tuesday to inform you on the music industry and also inform you on what's going on in my career. We have a calendar that you can follow us different places, know our locations, and the places that we'll be playing. And you're invited. If you're a special member out of our top 10 members, we'll have a lot of great gifts for you guys. There'll be offers that are limited. So you need to sign up as soon as you possibly can. Bring your friend, bring a neighbor, whoever you know that loves good music and wants to be internally healed, Please, get the album, 13 Scrolls. Don't be afraid of Asia J's world and love, live, life long. Stay tuned. We have a lot of things that we have to offer you. You can, be, you can find our music on Rap City, iTunes, Amazons, so forth. We're all over the place. So, thank you. Thank you to JOS. Thank you to Troy W. Davis. Thank you for all the people that help support Asia J's career. So, you're next, and you may be our lucky winner, and we have a great, great surprise for you. So, thank you. At the top of the block Where it's hot Pops watch Cause they know it is hot We the hustlers be at And the fiends come to pop Making profit from the flip game Smuts in the shit game You boy Josh Entertainment J-O-S That's how we do it All the way live Signing out Okay Alright Cause I'm Asia Jenkins On Facebook I'm about I'm probably the biggest person Right there on Facebook In three months I've 10 million friends and connections. Oh, cool. Yeah, so whatever we can do for you, we would love to help you. I thank you for being a part of the show. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> love yourself. <laughs> That's where the love is, right here at the corner of what? What in Chestnut? Oh, yes, a lot of love in Chestnut. Too. Born Chestnut? We got the borders. Born Chestnut. She in Born Oh, I'm saying. Born Philadelphia. All right, brother. Blackandnoble.com. That's right, that's right. Holla, holla, that's the love right there. Merge, what you got for us, Merge? No, we got Merge. That's right, that's right, Merge. Tell us where can we come. That was another segment of Where Is the Love in the City of Brotherly Love. I'm your host, John Scott Hollywood with AC, and we are now here to take over. Watch out. With a smile on your face. See, you got a smile on your face. And you're going to take over with a smile. Like, they don't even realize what you're about to do. And they did cross the borderline. Ah! We shifted the ship. People listen, hear me. Yeah. 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 Northwest, southwest, northeast, southeast, Philly. People listen, hear me. Where is the love? Where is the love? Josh Entertainment Studios, and um, we are here to talk about our new song, which is called Rise Up. We all need something to uplift us in this world that we live in right now. So, you know, making a song was, it was, it was very interesting. It was, um, 
there were so many different things that went through my head to write this song. And I just thought of all of the elements in the world, you know, just everything that life consists of is in this song. From, you know, the highs, the low, you know, standing for something, falling for nothing, just, you know, dropping jewels on them. Because we can rap, like anybody can rap, you can rap gifts if you want to at Christmas time, but when you drop jewels and you give someone something to leave with, you know, you encourage them, you influence them in a positive way, that is what Rise Up is about. So, you know, I want all my ladies, my men, you know, my people to just know that life can get better, it gets greater later because it was worse first, and you are in control of your destiny. The decisions you make in your life is most likely how your life will end up. If you don't put nothing in your life, you ain't gonna get nothing out of it. the people in general, period. Give them a real story, and not only are we telling you a story, you know, and giving you scenarios or problems, but we're also giving you solutions to the problems that you are going through. So, making Rise Up is like, it was a real beautiful experience. The, the track alone has its own definition for it, it defines the, the words that are in the song. This hallway is like on your way to success. When I first walked and entered this building, I knew that there was going to be great, beautiful things to take place in our lives and our futures. And when I say our lives and our future, me, Asia J, JOS, Troy W. Davis, Terrence Helmington, I'd like to shout out to Terrence. He killed the track singing the hook. Mr. Davis, he killed making the hook, the production. Um, everything is just a beautiful thing right now. Green represents money, happiness, strength. You know, vegetables are green. There's so many good things that go on in green. So when me, when I first walked into this building and I was able to see that there is a God, you know, and down that hall is your destination your destiny, where you will end up, or whatever happens else after that door closes is only up to you. You make the decision on where you want to be. So you just put your all into your life and look down that hall and know there are going to be many doors that are open, you know, and you just have to make sure you go through the right door. And when you come out, you should be a bigger, a better and a stronger person. So that's why I call this hallway the Green Mile because it gives you a chance to meditate and think about what are you going to do and um, where do you want to end up. And I see you right now. We're number one everywhere. So rise up, life situations, my love letters, and um, light them up. I can't forget light them up. The house almost burned down. But um, on that note, we're just gonna we're gonna go in here, make some more hits, banging hits. Look out for JOS Entertainment, um, Joy W Davis, Asia J, Terrence Hamilton, and the whole Get Fresh crew. <laughs> no, whole JOS crew. All right, see you later. Yo, AJ. Yeah, rich boy. Hey, you need to like me. We gotta get these people together. We gotta help them realize what they're not doing, what they need to do. Why don't you drop that for me? You got it. This is my life, a true ghetto story. Let the pages turn, we live and we learn. Experience the best teaching, hell you will burn. Deception be a dark creature, I'm spread out to earn. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Headlights flashing, midnight mashing. No protocol, make the wrong move. Asking what happened, told you it was the enemy's blasting. Airplanes 
crashing. Clothes casket aspirin, tissue box passing. Family gathering, massive family members screaming, asking why did it happen? Tragedy from trapping, geographic mapping, monumental fashion, relaxing, sitting back, thinking to yourself that nothing's gonna happen. The streets is there before you was born, you still rapping.